We are back on Magazine Nivane and we are starting the new year 2009 with talent, lots of talent and more talent. So I welcome Adam Reed, actor and TV host. Thanks for having me. Hello Adam. Thank you. It's a pleasure welcome. for having you. Welcome. So we have to tell the story that I was looking into an article from the Montreal Mirror yes. and there was an article saying uh, best local actors. So I'm looking and I see Adam Reed and I tell myself, why do I not know this person? Yeah. And now I'm here to meet you. So They're, who yeah. is Adam Reed? Adam, well, you're loading me up with a big question here. Adam Reed is, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, he's a hardworking guy. Oh. He, he's a guy who, you know, I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do and, and, you know, I'm always supportive of other people and just the constant professional and always willing to go the extra mile and believe in the impossible and just, you know, be with people who are willing to go the extra mile and, and, and hang around with the eagles, so to speak, if you want to reach for the sky. So I am a down-to-earth guy. I'd like to think that I'm very humble. I like to, to work very hard. And I don't think there's anything wrong when you're successful to be able to share that with others. So, you know, overall, just a great guy, a great guy to be with and great guy to work with as well. And, uh, I'm just, I'm just, it's just been unbelievable this last year and the nomination. If you think you were surprised, I looked at my name on there. I was like, what is this? And I looked at it and I said, you know what? Finally, this hard work is paying off. Finally, the, the, yeah, the hours of auditioning and the hours of sending emails and the press kits and, and getting out there and meeting people and getting their support. Finally, it's paying off, and and I think that was a turning point in my career. And we have to mention that you have Arabic origins. So, do you feel that in the industry it changed for you? Did it have an impact? And what is your involvement uh, towards the Lebanese community? Well, it's a, it's a good question. I I want to first and foremost, I'm Canadian. I'm born here. I'm raised here. I speak English. I speak French, but I do have a Persian heritage. And I think you know, you look at the Arab community today, especially the Lebanese community, and see how many people are successful. And you look at Carl Wolf and names like Masari and Maya Sarduk. You know, somebody who's a very successful businesswoman here with the U Magazine. And I think this whole barrier of nationalities has been broken. I think people want something fresh, and I think people want exotic looks. They want cultured looks. And this new generation that we're in, and you're in that same generation, is that this 24 to 25, 26, 27, 28 age group are people who are really, really ambitious. These are people who are going after their dreams. And not only the Arabs. You look at, you know, uh, even here in Montreal, you look at Dom Rebel, you look at Ali Zwonak, who's an up-and-coming makeup artist here in, in Montreal. You look at so many different business people. This is a new generation, Maya. This is people who are going after what they want. These are people that have learned from the past generations awesome. are now saying, you know what? I want to be passionate, and that's what counts. So you were born to be discovered, obviously. I don't know. I it mean, had I, to happen. yes. <laughs> some people say it, but you know, my my father always said that that success is where hard work meets luck. So what have you done for those who are saying, "Wow, cool guy now"? Yeah. Well, you know, I started my career as a professional table soccer player. So yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people are going to laugh at home when they hear that, but I started as a professional table soccer player. I was studying at the Montreal School of Performing Arts, oh. and I did four years of there. And at the last show of the last course they offered, there was an agent in the crowd, and he loved what I. I did and came up to me and said, I'd love to put you under contract. Put me under contract, landed uh, CTV's Terrace Next Door, which is a movie of the month, which was great for my career. Um, and, and after that, just things just spiraled out of control. Landed that show, worked on Off the Record, became a regular guest, did 15, 16 appearances on their show, That's Sun nice, TV, huh? The Grill Room, Tell Latino, Soccer Fanatics. So it's been, it's been quite a ride. And all the, all the girls will not believe me, but you are on TV for food on What's Cooking on the W Network. Yeah, so it's, you're a food expert. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a big background in food. A lot of people don't know that. I, we, really? My family owned a Persian restaurant, so I did have the hands-on approach for with cooking. It's a brand new show called What's Cooking on the W Network, uh, produced by ABX and sponsored by the Craft Kitchens, which is great because we always have different recipes to make on the show. And my job basically on the show is to travel the country and discover people who are passionate. And an example of that would be right here in Montreal, beautiful restaurant called Linguini's, right on uh, the 40 West. Yeah, just a great guys. So we have we're, to go there. Yeah, you have to go there, check them out. Just people who are passionate. But you know, it's so funny because most of the demographics of the W Network is from 30 to 50 years old, who are women, right? So I'll go to a Sanka set and somebody will come up to me and say, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, But no, I don't think we know each other. She says, don't you do that TV show? I said, yeah, I do the TV show. She says, oh my God. My mother absolutely yeah, adores yeah. you. Can you please come over and cook some food for me? So, and can you uh, tell us a secret about food because it's very interesting. And I'm sure, is there one thing that marked you and said, "Wow, well, I have to tell this"? It's people. all about conversation. Food is the number one vehicle for conversation with your significant other. When you're cooking a meal together and you're both working towards a common goal, and you can both enjoy that meal afterwards, it's all about communication. And that's what I think. You know, I love the most about food is the fact that you talk to people when you're cooking. You cook with your friends. And how many times do you guys have, you know, a get together and everybody's cooking? There's pasta and then bruschetta and all kinds of different meals. So I think that's the secret behind food. And also, uh, the, the way that you can change a basic recipe. 
I mean, you take something, and that's what the show is so good about, because you start with a basic recipe, and, and you tweak it, and then all of a sudden great. it becomes something different that people would have said, hey, I would have never thought about that, and I think that's interesting. Can you spice it up. And also, you just said that you travel everywhere, yeah. but you've done a production here in Quebec called Abou Marc yeah, Party, that was, and it's a sequel, so tell us about that. Uh, Abou Marc Party is a, is a huge cult classic here. It's, it's almost like yeah. your typical high school flick with a little bit of a Quebecois twist to it. Um, the team that I worked with, I mean, you know, the, the, the casting director who gave me my shot in the first French production, and that's great because I'm seeing so much success here in Montreal that finally I was able to give back to that French team that I always wanted to work. And uh, you know what? I've worked with a lot of people. And, and I've worked with a lot of directors. And the director I'm working with right now on What's Cooking, Mr. Serge de Rosier, is one of the top in the business. But I'll tell you, working with Frédéric Damo and watching him go, and I, I had a minor role in the film because it was my debut in the French scene, yeah, right? The French scene. So, Watching him get the best of every single actor while keeping a real positive vibe, you know, on it's set incredible. was unbelievable. And you know, I hear he's a big horror buff, so hopefully one of these days he'll make a horror film and uh, we'll work together again. Well, we so. can't wait to see it. Yeah. We're actually almost out of time, but the, you, you promise not to laugh on this question. I need to know what's cooking next. Oh, da -da -da that's a good one. That's a good transition line. Uh, things, are, things are going big. I'm aiming for the top five actor in the city. Uh, I want to work with every single person that's in the business. Um, I have big projects lined up for 2009. I've got... And uh, if someone wants to reach you... Yeah, they can reach me at uh, Facebook. Just uh, type in Adam Reed. Yeah, and group. Yeah, everything's there. I'll have official group as well. And like I said, I mean, big things are coming. Twisted Goals documentary. Another season of What's Cooking that's been picked up a variety of shows more telatino hey it's been it's been an unbelievable pleasure and a, a big thank you to everybody out in montreal they've been so supportive of my career especially canadians and across the country i mean it's it's a blessing it really has cool sincerely nice to meet you pleasure's thank all you, mine thank you thank you, you. Thank thank you. Thanks. and hope i to see you uh, again cross your fingers, cross fingers. Oh, thank yeah. you